thank you for joining me for another Sunday shave. Got a good shave lined up. I've been there, look, really looking forward to this one. How's your weekend going? I hope I find you all well and having some great shaves. What we're using, as you can see from the thumbnail, we're using Hendrix Classic & Co. Bond. They call it Bond, but on the listing, I think it's called James Bond. And there's the ingredients. A bit damp label, I've just had it resting on a bit of water. Love the label, looking down the, the barrel of a gun. The iconic introduction to the James Bond films. Love James Bond. Not a huge fan, but I just love the films. Scent on this is absolutely stunning. The notes in this, I think, are bergamot, jasmine, and patchouli. Love patchouli and jasmine. The patchouli really brings things together, in my opinion. It's stunning. It smells high end, like a top market cologne. It's fresh. It's a confident scent, and it's about a four and a half to me. There's the pot. So that's what we're using. I've got some spread out in my Captain's Choice Obsidian Bowl. And I'm gonna whip that up, kindly gifted to me by Mark Bagwell. How you doing, Mark? I hope you're okay, buddy. And it's my Simpson Chubby 3 Sovereign Synthetic Knot 28 mil. Look at that handle. Isn't that a stunning handle? Absolutely love this brush. And I'm going to be using a vintage razor, <coughs> my 1963 Gillette Slim Adjustable, also kindly gifted to me by Jerry Still. Jerry, how are you doing, sir? I hope I find you well too. Right, this was kindly gifted to me. It was my first ever unboxing. Um, he wanted to send me a razor. He sent me 18 razors, all Gillette. He sent me a whole collection of vintage razors. And even to this day, I still pinch myself every time I look at these razors. I don't use them often enough, and I should, but there you go. Blade in there is a Gillette Super Thin. Door wrap. Let's take it out the tuck. All I like about this, it's got, I don't know what language that is. See the instruction, it's a cartridge. It's a cartridge blade inside a, a, D, a blade tuck, and there's the tuck. New improved stainless on one side and on the other side it's super thin blade. So I'm going to pop that in there, open the doors. It's a single piece adjustable razor. Did I mention it's 1963? I'm not sure what quarter. Give it the quarter turn. It goes from one to nine, and we're gonna start it off on nine. I may leave it there, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We've got the brush wet but not dripping. Let's see what we can create. Yeah, I love James Bond movies. Oh yeah, beautiful scent. So how you're doing anyway? Okay? I hope so. How's your weekend going? I know I've asked you already, but... This is a great lather already. Seconds. Love this bowl, love the weight of this bowl. I love the sound of the brush in the bowl. While well, I'm creating the lather. It's 
So what are you using today? Don't forget your SOTDs in the comments please guys and keep your comments coming. Thank you very much for the comments in the last shave. I appreciate all comments. I'm going to go with that. That looks, that looks the business. I'm going to wet the face. Yeah, smells high end. Mm. Oh, got some great news for you. In case anybody hasn't noticed. Shaving time. Back up and running. UK suppliers. Dave McMillan, Dave McMillan used to run it. He retired. And I think he sold the company off. Or he was like joint ownership. I'm not sure 100%. So don't quote me. With Shaving Shack. It's now operating under Shaving Time again. And I'll leave a link to the, um, to the site. I used to get 90% of all my gear off that side. Great selection of products, great price, great service. <laughs> so if we go, 1963 Gillette, slim adjustable with a super thin blade. First use. <sighs> nice shave before work, I hope. I once again, I can get this uploaded before I go to work. I slept in, I slept right through my alarm yesterday. Not yesterday, was it? Yeah, yesterday. Losing me days. <sighs> slept right through. I woke up at five past days. Keep rushing. But the previous couple of days have been so busy in work. Friday I got home five past ten at night. Saturday was twenty-five to ten. Yesterday was about eight o'clock. But busy is good. Pays the bills. Just so tiring. What did I have yesterday? I think it was, I delivered, out of 257 parcels, I delivered 256. I needed age verification on one of the parcels and the people weren't in, so I couldn't deliver it. When you get days like that, I'm not sure if I caught. Do I have a pimple there? I was too sure if I caught the pimple. Not too sure. I felt something. Yeah, that's why, um, I'm just so tired, that's why I sound the way I do. That makes any sense. Nice first pass.
So, what's your favourite James Bond movie? There is so many to choose from. Doctor No was a good one for me. Goldfinger's another good one, one of my favourites. Let me know in the comments what your favourite film is. James Bond film. And for me, it can only be one James Bond and not Sean Connery. Very charismatic, cool, fantastic actor. I'm going to leave it on nine from second pass. So who's your favourite James Bond character, uh, actor? James Bond was the character. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. I've got the window cracked open. It's just got daylight now. I love to wear the morning corners. I've just heard the woodpecker at the back. Every morning now. Which is always a good sign. With spring just being around the corner. Days are drawing out a bit more now. You hear that? I hope the microphone's picking it up. Really enjoying this. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when it an ad, an advert come up. I'm not too sure what it was on. An advert come up on my phone, it was shaving time. New products in. Uh, right, it's gotta be an old advert, but anyway, I looked into it. I went on the site when I got home. <coughs> it's there, shaving time. Back with us. Absolutely made up. And I hope I've, if you're watching Dave, Dave McMillan, I hope you are well, sir. I hope you're enjoying retirement. You know what, I'm going to leave it all night. I'm absolutely loving this. And it's the same thing that goes through my head every time I use a vintage razor. Who owned you? Where have you been? Have you travelled the world? What kind of person owned it? What did they do for a living? You know, it's all these things that come to me every time I get a vintage razor in my hand. Are you the same? Or is it just me? Absolutely loving this brush. Thank you very much, Mark. Me and Mark have similar tasting brushes. Here we go, a third pass against the growth. Have you got this soap? What do you think of the scent? Really does. Smell like a top shelf cologne. <laughs> Nothing like Eucharist or anything like that. I can see James Bond choosing this. This soap, this saint, this saint, <laughs> here we go, this scent. 
I think he'll approve. Day's work today. I'm not off now. I'm not off um, work till Wednesday, unless they want me to change my day off. A few of the drivers from work are getting really tired. Uh, Delivery is so busy and so big now, which apparently always happens this time of year. Just as busy as Christmas. I've been assured it calms down in March. Blade isn't the smoothest. But it's okay. It's not uncomfortable. It's doing its job. So you love the weight and the balance of this razor. So what are you up to today? Anything? You're just having a shave and chilling out? Are you decorating? <laughs> I've seen quite a few people on delivery deck, started decorating for the spring. Don't do decorating. <laughs> well, I do, but <laughs> reluctantly. <laughs> Here we go, pick up time. The usual suspects around the jawline. Nice and slick. I like Hendrix classics. Good soap. Reasonably priced. In a four ounce tub. Wow. I like that that. That was a good shave. Top water rate. Right? Good old arm. Um, I need a new one, I don't know if you can see. It's like a hole appearing. If I use that side, it's quite rough. Absolutely perfect. Nothing whatsoever. So I haven't over shaved. I haven't applied any pressure on the razor. I've let the razor do most of the work. How long have we been going? I can't see the see the clock on the camera. I need some more caffeine in me. <laughs> what a beautiful shave. That was so nice. Dropping me glasses. After shave. 007. Oh, that's like a, like a gadget, 
or a 007's gadgets. That's cool, isn't it? Nice touch. Wow. It's only cheap. It's another product that smells high-end. I can't remember the last time I used it. I'm not sure how long it lasts. There's a bit of vetiver in that. It's beautiful. I like that. <laughs> oh, going with Nivea Protect and Care Intensive Moisturiser Cream for the oven. Get a bit low. Good stuff. Let's get a bit on the. bit more than that, I think. Get a bit on the finger. Rub it into the palm, get a bit of heat in it, and apply. What a lovely shave. Great result. No issues. Issues. I'm not tired, I can't even speak. <laughs> Set money for work. Right, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, whatever you're doing today. As always, have fun while you do it. Um, stay smooth, stay safe as always. And in the words of I am CDB, it's your shave, do it your way. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. And I'm hoping while I'm off, I'm going to redo the uh, Magnificent 11 video. Fingers crossed. See you then guys. Bye for now.